plays, touchdowns. Sports Extra on News 3 starts right now. Good evening and welcome to Sports Extra. I'm Mark Kiesling. Over the next half hour, we'll look ahead to tonight's matchups in high school football. We have crews located throughout Southern Illinois to bring us live reports. News 3 sports anchor Kendra Sheehan is in Harrisburg tonight. Danny Valle comes to us from Mount Vernon and my co-anchor Julie Williams is in El Dorado. And we start our coverage with Kendra. Hey Kendra, are fans ready for week three? Absolutely, fans are ready for week three. Welcome to Bulldog Country. The Harrisburg Bulldogs are looking to go 3-0. They're undefeated right now as they host Salem. It's a military appreciation night. There's a lot of things happening. And I want to bring in Staff Sergeant Connor Brave, who's with the National Guard. The team before the game tonight, there's going to be a little bit of a ceremony. They're going to bring out the flag. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about what's going to be happening during the national anthem as a part of Military Appreciation Day? Yes, for sure. So we're going to utilize some of the um, students from the dog pound, and we're going to bring out a field flag on the field during the national anthem and just kind of wave and just show our support um, for the veterans in the community. So. Now, Harrisburg has their own military appreciation jerseys, so they're not wearing the National Guard jerseys tonight. That's actually over where Julie's game is. You'll hear more about that later in the show. But, Connor, you've worked with Harrisburg football team this past summer and into the fall practices. What have you done with those group of guys? So, um, normally every year I try to get a hold of a lot of football programs in the community and just to do a couple of um, workouts, some military-style workouts, um, just to help with conditioning. And this year I was actually be a, was able to be involved with a really cool workout called the Iron Dog, which is kind of a tradition here, um, where they let us utilize you know, some of our military equipment to come out here and help these boys kind of work together as a team um, and prepare them for the season. How have these athletes responded to these military-type workouts? Um, Harrisburg's great. Um, really, really and truly, they are one of the most supportive schools I've ever worked with. Um, it's always nice to see them up and down the hallways when I'm here, um, just saying, hey, Sergeant Brave, how's it going? So um, I look really forward to, you know, continue to work with Harrisburg. And lastly, you always say you're always recruiting for the National Guard. What is it about the National Guard that you sell to these students and why get involved with the Army National Guard Illinois? So. Yes, I'm a recruiter. Um, my primary mission is not only just to look for, develop, for, help develop football programs, but also look for students and um, football players, maybe even just people out in the community that are interested in serving their country. Um, the National Guard is one of a kind. We're part time. We wear the same uniform as the Army. We do the same exact training as the Army. But we're here locally in your communities. Um, so when disaster strikes, the National Guard's always there. So. Well, thank you so much for having us. We don't have a whole lot of time, so I'm going to go and send it over to Danny Valle. He's out in Mount Vernon. They've got an incredible matchup tonight. Danny, how's it looking in Rams County? Actually, we'll get to Danny in just a second. Let's take a look at some other games involving teams from the River to River Conference. Massac County takes on Anna Jonesboro at the pit in Anna. The Heron Tigers are in DuCoin to take on the Indians. The Tigers still looking for their first win. Murfreesboro plays host to Carterville. The Red Devils looking to improve to 3-0. And, oh, and West Frankfort looks for its first win of the season as the Redbirds host Sparta tomorrow morning at 11. Our coverage continues now with South 7's Game of the Week. Danny Valle is in Mount Vernon where the Rams are taking on the Triad Knights of Troy, Illinois. Danny, are people in Jefferson County ready for Week 3? Oh, they are certainly ready. In front of us, the stands are filling up, and we also had some fans cooking up some barbecue. We're going to talk to them in just a little bit, but first, we're going to bring in Mount Vernon Rams head coach Greg. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm having a brain fart here. Greg Graves. Greg Graves. Oh, my goodness. It's live TV. What can you do? But you know what? You are live in front of the crowd for the first time in more than a year. What's the energy like right now in the locker room? Oh, it's exciting. As guys are pumped up, you know, I'm having to calm them down a little bit because they're just so excited to be at home and, and know that we're, we only have a few home games this year, so they're definitely excited. 
Coach Graves, uh, tough start to the season, a seven-game losing streak back to the spring. You faced some really tough teams in uh, Mascuda and Taylorville, another tough team in Triad. What are the keys to the game tonight? Oh, we've got to be physical and be disciplined. You know, they're going to try to power run up the middle and then bounce it outside and then throw a pass every now and then. So we've got to be disciplined. We've got to be focused and play our part and play as a team, and I believe we can win. Yeah, and this is a Triad team that uh, you never know what you're going to get. They had a great defense in, uh, in week two. In week one, they were down 20 points, scored the last 20 unanswered to win that game. They're looking to bounce back from a loss today, and you guys are looking for your first win, too. Yes, you know, we had a great week of practice, you know, physical practice. Everybody was just going at it. Uh, you know, we got all of our guys back out of quarantine, and so we're definitely excited for this week, and I believe we're going to come out there and, and do what's right. And then briefly, 9-11 uh, anniversary tomorrow. That's on a lot of people's minds, everyone's minds, arguably. Uh, what can you give us a message on the 20th anniversary? Oh, man, never forget it. You know, I'm a junior year of high school, seeing that come on the TV and just unbelievable. But just seeing how the country came together. And I believe right now what we're dealing with with COVID, that is more important now that we come together. In spite of what, poly, what party we believe we are part of, that we come together and unite as America like we should. And I believe we'll overcome all this stuff. Coach Greg Graves, thank you so much. Good luck tonight. Thank you. That was Coach Greg Graves here. The South 7 Game of the meet Week, Mount Vernon hosting Triad, our South 7 Game of the Week. We're going to send it back to Mark in the studio who has some more games we are looking forward to. Thank you, Danny. And here are all those other games involving South 7 teams tonight. Waterloo is in Carbondale taking on the Terriers. Both teams coming in at 1-1. One and one. In Marion, the Wildcats try to improve to 3-0 on the season when they host Highland out of the Mississippi Valley Conference. Now to the Black Diamond Conference, where our game of the week is Flora at El Dorado, and that's where we find my co-anchor, Julie Williams. Julie, good evening. Yeah, thanks, Mark. Like you mentioned, I'm here at El Dorado as the Eagles get ready to take on Flora. Right now, the coin toss is about to happen behind me, but tonight I do want to mention is Military Appreciation Night. So you're going to see the Eagles in military uniforms provided by the National Guard. And right now I am joined by Mr. Brian Questel. You are a football coach for El Dorado and you're also a veteran. So I want to start out and thank you for your service, Mr. Questel. And I guess to kind of get me started, you know, Patriot Night, it's a big night. How you feeling? I always feel good on Patriot Night, any military celebration night. Uh, having served the United States Air Force for only four years but and lots of years ago, but it's still deep in my heart and soul to be a part of the military. And whenever the National Guard does this with our kids, it makes me feel extra special to be a part of it. Uh, they take it serious wearing the uniform, even though they're not in the military, but just donning a military uniform to play a game is just sometimes enough to get them fired up to go whip, whip the wolves tonight. Great. And, you know, with with military training and even with football, there's a lot of discipline that comes into it. What does that say about, you know, your boys and your program here? You are correct. Military discipline is one of the first things they teach you. And football is a lunch pail sport. You have to do your job. And we teach the kids to do their job Colorado with Junior discipline and not try to do too much extra, but do that job that we teach them to do with the discipline that we train them to do it with. And it is like military precision at times. That, and anything you want to say to your boys real quick? Yes, ma'am. Tell the Eagles, let's go beat these wolves tonight, guys. Come on now. All right, Mr. Quistel, I'll let you go. I know you've got a lot going on tonight, so thank you so much for speaking with us, and good luck. You're welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, Mark, I am here in El Dorado as the Eagles get ready to take on Flora. We'll have more coverage throughout the evening here. So for now, I'll send it back to you. Thanks, Julie. Now let's take a look at other games involving Black Diamond Conference teams. Hamilton County is taking on Edwards County. One team will come away with its first win tonight. Over to White County, Cesar Valier meets Carmi White County. That should be a great matchup. And in Williamson County, the Johnston City Indians play host to the Fairfield Mules, who are looking to extend their 37-game conference winning streak. We have more coverage of our featured games of the week coming up right after the break. Stay with us.